Hello, everybody. It is Deanna with ToolsOfEnergyProtection.com, your energy shift expert and your Akashic Records advisor. How's everybody doing tonight? It is January 26th, 2021, and there is so much going on, as you know, on this planet. Nothing new. <laughs> and tonight, I'd like to talk to you about three things. One, I would like to talk to you about the Schumann's frequency and what's happening and what we can expect in our emotions for this week. And then I'd like to talk to you about what we can expect on the world scene coming up in 2021. Um, some people had asked me for my predictions, and I usually don't give those out here on the Facebook Live, but I want to share a few things that I see coming up in 2021. And then we're going to talk about soulmates. So if you have a question for me tonight about a soulmate or a particular someone that you want to know about or where is my soulmate or am I ever going to find my soulmate, <laughs> then go ahead and put it down here if you're on Facebook Live in the comments. And I will answer all of your questions tonight as much as I can. I want to thank each and every one of you that joined me last week for a live uh, reading for Akashic Records. And I got to as many people as I could. And, you know, and then I just had to go because I was exhausted. Um, so I'd like to let you know that when I'm on doing these lives and I'm offering information, it's to give you a little sample of what I'm doing, a little taste of what I'm doing in my classes and my live sessions. So in true transparency, that's why I come on here. I'd like for you to just be able to kind of get to know me, see if we're a fit, you know, and if we are, and you're feeling, you know, like you have another question that didn't quite get answered. I'm going to invite you over to toolsofenergyprotection.com and click on sessions and let's get together. If you're wanting to do just a little half hour, kind of test it out, I have a lot of those folks too, then go ahead and call the bookstore down at For Heaven's Sakes Books in Denver and book a time for us to get together. All right. So anyway, let's get on with the first thing. Let's talk about Schumann's frequency and what's happening on the planet. I'm going to go ahead and see just a moment. I'm going to pull that up really quick. I didn't do it before I came on. Uh, for those of you that don't live in Colorado, Loveland's a little bit on the snowy side tonight. And the streets were a little slick, so took my time getting over here to the office. Um, so I didn't really print out a Schumann's frequency, but I can post it here later. But here's what's going on. So uh, Schumann's, uh, like yet late yesterday, um, you know, was kind, kind of moving a little bit. But for the last couple of days, we've really been on a hiatus, a little respite. Um, but as of right now, and actually about an hour and a half ago, that the energies have really super shifted. So there's going to be, you're going to feel maybe more agitated, not able to sleep. And um, I, I'll, I'll post this one up here when I get uh, done tonight on uh, Facebook Live. And if you're on uh, uh, YouTube, click down here to the link over to Tools of Energy Protection for today's blog and you'll be able to see it. But there's a lot of disturbance going on in the mental, emotional, and somewhat the physical bodies. And so there's a streaming between the mental and the emotional and the physical. So all of those are being stirred up. Um, last week, we were doing more of the mental emotional. And this week, a little bit of the physical is going to go in it. So you might have acid reflux. Um, you might have um, uh, trouble digesting, uh, those kind of things. And it looks like um, yeah, that's going on now. But there's also, if you notice, the very bottom of Schumann's, uh, one of my beautiful students pointed out a couple of months ago, that there's these energies starting to come across the bottom, which I haven't seen before. And I've been following Schumann's maybe a couple of years. And his guides told him that that was about energy we were going to need later. So what I'm finding is that those were just the little tiny bubbles here and there. But today, those little blips, which when you look at Schumann's, it'll be on the bottom of the map between the seven and the nine, maybe about 7.30 and nine you're going to find there's a little bit more disturbance there. So what does that mean? Well, I talked to my guides and what they're telling me is, you know, the earth scientifically is on an axis, right? It's on an axis. And so it's just tilting. I think it's changed by 30 degrees. I'm going to say in the last 
last uh, 20 years. And so when we had that, you know, when the dinosaurs were around and they had the shift, the temperatures changed drastically and the dinosaurs couldn't deal with it because they weren't used to it. Uh, so they perished very quickly. And not that that's going to happen uh, here, but what I'm saying is the Earth's axis and its magnetic field is shifting. That's why we've seen so much going on with Schumann's, which has to do with the planets. We've talked about that in the past. But what does that mean? That means that we in the here and now, if we're spiritually awake, aware, attuned, alert, have got to keep moving forward and getting rid of the emotional baggage that we've had for a long time. And we've lived in a paradigm for years. I know um, I lived in one for years where, you know, you... Uh, you know, you get to be in your 20s, and then you find your love of your life, and then you get married, and then you have kids, and then you stay together for the rest of your life, and that just hasn't been working. And a lot of that was because of societal changes and the acceptance of different things in our society. But right now, what's happening is the people that are spiritually awake, aware, alert, highly sensitive, impasse. We're healers. That's what we do. We're white blood cells. And we were put on this planet for that reason. So, you know, just like the military has the Navy, Navy, the Air Force, the Army, Marines, you know, different divisions do different things. There's different divisions of healers. We all have a different thing that we do. Some of us work energetically. Some of us work spiritually. Some of us work in the trenches as counselors. You go, girl. <laughs> Uh, some of us are massage therapists, so we all work in the same vein to help people feel lighter, to lift the collective consciousness, and that's what's important right now. So if you are a healer and in the past you've been prone to sucking and absorbing people's energy, not your job. I just taught the last academy this last weekend, had so many beautiful students. And one gal, she's like, oh, yeah, because I just, I take it all on, you know, so the client doesn't have to. And then she was left feeling bad. And so what we did is we came together, we helped her discover her gorgeous gift, amazing, and taught her some ways to clear energy so that she doesn't have to absorb it. Or if she does absorb it, she can get rid of it quickly. And she now has a new skill to go forward, and I can't wait to see how many lives she changes and transforms. So big hugs and kisses to my class last weekend. You all rocked it. Um, amazing. It was a lot of information in a short period of time. For those of you who are interested, yes, I'm going to <laughs> put up the next academy and get that rocking. So anyway, if you're a healer and you're in a relationship and it's super toxic to you, it's time to make some choices right now, right now. Am I telling you to pack your bags and leave your spouse? No. Am I telling you to stay in a toxic relationship? No. What I'm encouraging you to do is to begin to work on yourself. And if you need to exit the situation that you're in in order to work on yourself, so be it. Just look before you leave. But some things just aren't meant to last in these times. We've been fix it. Okay, men and women, fix it. We tend to draw people into our life that are a project and they need fixing. And then we try to fix and fix and fix. And when they don't fix themselves, we go, ah, I know, been there, done that. Sorry. But in that, it's finding yourself. It's finding where you are. And if you have a partner who's willing to come together with you and work together towards change, great. But if you got a little rescue project and that person doesn't want to change no matter what you do, It'll be the same. It's going to drag you down. It's going to deplete you. It's going to take you out of being the healer that you can be. So wherever you find yourself now, get some help. Seek a counselor. And get headed in a direction where you can be a healthier person for you. Because I'm going to tell you the bottom line here. 
if you are a lifeguard and somebody is drowning and you grab the little buoy, you know, little flotation device, and you swim out to them, a drowning person will grab for the tallest thing in the water, and that's usually your head, and you'll both go under and you'll both drown. But if you take the flotation device and you send it out, they're going to grab onto that because they can't get to you. You're a little bit further back. And while they're holding on to that flotation device, you can swim to the shore and get them to safety. But first, they had to want to grab onto the flotation device. And second, they had to do a little work to hold on. And that's what I'm saying to you with people in your lives. And I had some clients last week that are going through some tremendous trials with their own children. Their children are beautiful. Their children are troubled. And they're toxic. And the parents are trying to hold on to them and swim to shore by letting them live in their house. And the child is disrespecting the privilege. Sometimes they're stealing from the people that they're living with. Sometimes they do too many things, you know, uh, drugs and alcohol and cause disruption in the house. And they're not seeking help and they're not trying to better themselves. So the parents are just perpetuating the situation. And it is hard to see your children struggle. And you want to rescue. I get it. But at some point, they're going to have to swim on their own to get some help. I know COVID doesn't make it easier because it's harder to get a place for people to stay these days, you know, a mental health facility or, you know, some kind of housing, but it can be done. So I implore you to begin to look at your situations and make choices because by the end of this year, if you haven't gotten yourself in better habits, better steps, feeling better about yourself, Ugh, I don't even want to think about it. Anyway, let's move on. A little bit more cheery subject. So uh, Schumann's, uh, Schumann's uh, frequency, uh, lots of stuff going on in the mental, emotional area, some of it on the physical. I know I've been having a little acid reflux lately because I'm worried about stuff that I shouldn't be. <laughs> um, and then there's also some energies right now coming up that are helping and supporting. So uh, on the map, I'm seeing just uh, between like the seven and the, and the eight, well, the 930 on here. Um, a lot of force, a lot of change, um, but at the bottom, there's this support. So that means that we can tune into the divine and lift up our emotional spirits combined with our um, spiritual spirit self and work through these times. Okay, let's move on. So um, let's see who all's uh, saying hello and um, uh, getting old person's disease. I forgot, <laughs> I forgot we've been talking about Schumann's. Talk, oh, what was going on in the planet and soulmates. Okay, thank you for that. Um, all right, so let's see who we have on this evening. Oh, Keith, hello. Deanna, hello. Rhea, Rhea, welcome back. Uh, Deborah, good to see you. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Robin and Genesis. Hello, Kelly. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Hi, Judy. Nice to see you back. Uh, Becky, uh, good to see you. And uh, Rachel. And let's see here. Uh, looks like Carol and Tim. Good to see you, Tim. Uh, April. Uh, hi there. Okay, so I'm so super uh, excited uh, to see you uh, tonight. So let's go on a little bit further. So we talked about Schumann's and what's happening. And we did talk about a little bit what's happening in the world. I did it more from a personal aspect of what I see going on. Uh, it is going to be about personal growth this year. And it's, it's a post test to what we've been going through. So make sure you get yourself on board and do what you've got to do to upright yourself, bring your life into a more positive place. Uh, just as quickly as you can. Um, and then on the world scene, oh boy, on the world scene, this year, 
you're going to see a huge swing in the pendulum, so to speak. So in America, we've seated a new party. And there, of course, will be changes because people do things differently and administrations do things differently. But this year, there's going to be more of a separation between the haves and the have-nots. So if you're pliable and you're malleable, you're going to find more financial abundance than if you're not. And one of my beautiful clients this week was kind of grousing a little bit about COVID. And she said, well, you know, COVID has provided us with the opportunity to learn to stay in the moment. Because for those of you that have kiddos at school, uh, the school system that I'm in decided uh, within a couple of days, uh, notice to me anyway, that they were going to put the kids back in brick and mortar for a couple of days. Wow. So when I have my daughter on online, I have more liberty to plan things that I'm doing and when I'm doing and clients, you know, when she goes back to brick and mortar, then there's certain times I have to be available. And to give me two days notice and running my business, yeah, that's not good. I plan weeks, months in advance. So a couple days, not working for me. But with COVID, that seems to be the way it is. You, you have to stay more fluid, more liquid, more in the now. I could go on and on about that, but that's what's happening. So if you are a rigid person and you have trouble with change, work on it. Because the changes are going to come fast and furious this year, from now until about November. And you're going to see a huge amount of change in finances. You're going to see uh, gas prices almost double. And when gas prices double, food goes up. Everything goes up because you got to transport it. But you're also going to see production change. Um, there's going to be uh, a difference in the way that we do business with other countries, which is going to impact investors. Uh, it's going to, there's going to be a lot more people working in America that are going to have to move to a uh, combined living situation. So if you can imagine an entire apartment complex and the only people allowed to live in there are the people that are building a certain product, uh, kind of be, to me, it just it's kind of like living with mom and dad. You got to, so you do it, but you're not making very much money and the person who you're making the product for is, is you know, buying a third and fourth yacht, okay? So that's what I'm seeing. Uh, I must have a lot of angels in here tonight because I keep seeing my screen flicker. So either that or I'm putting out a lot of bioelectromagnetism. Um, anyway, let's move on and let's answer some questions about soulmates. Okay, so the first question that I see um, is Rachel. Rachel, give me a thumbs up if you're still here. It says, am I going to find my soulmate anytime soon? Rachel, thumbs up. Let me know if you're here. I'll answer your question. Let's see here. Okay, Rachel, there we go. Okay. So, Rachel, um, in regard to finding your soulmate anytime soon, um, one moment. Rachel. Uh, 20, uh, 20 was a hard year and it shook up a lot of things. And so you have, uh, two special gifts, two things that you haven't been doing that are part of your divine self. You've been stifling them. And in order for you to find your soulmate, you have to let those things out because if you don't let them out and you don't begin to work with them, then you're blocking yourself from finding that person that can connect with you in, when you're engaging in those two things. So that's what I see for you. So soulmate comes once you align with whatever those two special gifts are. Uh, Rhea, Rhea, have I found my soulmate? Rhea? Kinda. 
Rhea, it feels like you have two people potential in your life for that soulmate question. One of them feels like a best friend that you're leaning towards. Um, the other one feels too rigid for you, too strict. Like, uh, like they tell you no when they should say yes. So I don't know who that is, but anyway, that's the answer. Okay, Deanna. Uh, that's funny. Two Deannas. Uh, where is my soulmate? Will I ever find him? Of course you will. <laughs> okay, Deanna, let's see what we can get for you. Okay, um, what I'm hearing is he is further down the road in your future. I'm hearing he's two years, whatever are these twos tonight? He's two years in your future. So what I'm, what I'm hearing from your guides is that you are, you kind of, kind of sound like Rachel. You're headed in the right direction, but your finances aren't right yet. You, you've got some things that just aren't matching up. It, it feels like that you're buying the wrong things. So if you're purchasing and making investments, you know, in a home or in a uh, washer and dryer or something to fix the home up, that's really great. But if you're buying, you know, comforters and coffee makers and stuff like that, it's not lining up with who you are. It's not that we don't need those things, but I would highly recommend that you and make an investment in some land or property or something. Um, because there's something about your sol being solid in your life that's going to make it easier for you when that person comes in your life to say yes. Because right now it's like you, you want to say yes because there's things that you want to connect with, but you say no because you know it's not right. All right, let's see here. Moving along, let's see who else has a question. Hi, Jeremy. Good to see you. Hey, Kelly. Nice to see you, too. Uh, let's see here. April, will I ever find my soulmate? I love you, ladies. You're so cool. Just right out there with it. <laughs> um, April, I'm hearing you've already found your soulmate. Um, like two or three years ago, you already found that person. Um, so April, it's, it's not about soulmates for you anymore. It's about flame mates. Um, that's a little bit different. So, so April, thank you for your question. And, um, uh, I'm going to go on with you a little bit there, April. Um, so my understanding about soul relationships is that you have a soulmate, a flame mate, and a twin flame. And so those are three different vibrational qualities. The first one, the, the soulmate, um, is a vibrational quality that would be analogous to, you know, like a sibling. I don't want to be, make it weird, but the soulmate is just, well, let's see. Nah, let's make it more like a cousin. Because... A soulmate is great. Uh, that usually means they were created, their spiritual self, around the same time as you, but but not as in in the same frequency. Okay, so it's like, you know, if you play the a number, or sorry, you play number numbers. If you play a, le a letter on the uh, piano, bing, 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 you know, then the keys right around it resonate with it in the same tones. But it doesn't necessarily mean that it's harmonious. So usually we have to play the other end of the scale in order to be harmonious. So if you were like, bing, 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 that would be your twin flame. That would be the same note as you. And it's really annoying. So if you come across a twin flame, usually somebody's going to bug the schmag out of you and you don't want to be around them unless you two have a, you know, cleared up all your stuff and then it can be very harmonious. But twin flames are addictive, but not necessarily the best for you. So then if you go to soulmates, uh, or actually flame mates, 
twin flame, playmates. Playmates are a little bit more harmonious on the piano. Uh, they sound a little bit better together. Um, but they're, they're, uh, I think they're the best of both worlds because they, they were created at a time where you resonate enough that you understand why you're both on the planet, what lessons you're learning, how best to support each other. That's a flame mate. Soulmates are out here and they're, um, a lot more prevalent. Um, you know, like being in a room full of 24 different people. So you're, you know, you're not limited really to soulmates. That's why I'm kind of confused when people want to meet their soulmate because there's a lot of them out there. They're a lot easier to meet, if you will, um, if you're aligned and attuned and all that. So April, I don't feel like your soulmate's out there anymore. I feel like you're more in the, tw in the uh, flamemate stage, which is really good because soulmates are out here and flamemates are here. So it's somebody who's a little bit more your style and I feel like a four to five year age difference is going to help you. Okay. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> You're so funny. Does he exist? Yes, Michelle. We do not come into this life. I have known no one. Of course, I've only seen 8,000 people one-to-one -one in my sessions to date. So maybe there's somebody I haven't met yet. But uh, most of the people that I've met um, nobody has come along and uh, that I've ever seen that hasn't had a spiritual counterpart on this planet. Okay, so everybody, you know, when you come into body, you don't come in body by yourself. You don't, you're, you know, your soul family, they're there. If we just got to find them, if we're not born, you know, in there, like we find our friends, nobody comes by themselves. Okay, so yes, they exist. All right. You're welcome, Rachel. So thank you, Michelle. Hope that doesn't sound too, but we're never alone. <laughs> uh, look at you, Deborah. Good job. You're working on yourself. Good job. So I want you to, uh, Deborah, to reach out to me um, because in my sessions, what I do is I look at your Akashic records and I look and see how much of the stuff that you've been working on yourself about and then we target specific areas to work in. And then we um, target specific areas that you can rest assured you're good and you're going forward and things are going to get a lot easier. So you'll know what to work on specifically and not. So I'm going to invite you to go over to toolsofenergyprotection.com and click on sessions and find a time that works for you. And let's get together. All right. Hi to Diane. Let's see here. Carrie. Uh, she says, Carrie says, a step I can take to move me in a direction to meet someone. Carrie, there's people all around you. Everywhere. So you really don't have to do much. Just open your heart and stay open because that person is out there for you. And they're probably right here under your nose and you don't even know it so just keep those eyes and ears open okay sorry I just a little stray hairs tonight uh let's see here Kelly says when will I meet my soulmate <laughs> Kelly <laughs> Kelly I'm gonna invite you and everybody else that asked me about where your soulmate is and when you're gonna meet your soulmate to come and join me for a session. Let's really look at that. Let's look at it because when you're asking me, are you going to find your soulmate? The, the first thing, you know, like I said, I've done almost 8,000 one-to-one appointments. And had I hear over and over and over again from people's spirit guides. And when I look at their Akashic records, what I'm seeing over and over is the person that, you know, there's a lot of people that come in your life. Okay. I've seen people that have, before they came into body, they lined up eight people to meet in their life for their soulmates. Because they want to make sure if they didn't get them the first time, they were going to get them the second or the third time or whatever. So your soulmates are out there. And they may have come in close proximity, but you were too busy with whatever else to recognize that they were there. Maybe you had too much baggage from your childhood. You know, I've been there, done that. 
you know, I think I'm all great, you know, and then I go forward and I find out there's more crap that there's in my childhood, more stuff to fix, more things to do. So as I change my vibration, I'm going to change who I draw into my life. So for those of you that, you know, really want to find out when you're going to meet your soulmate, let's find out how many blocks do you have up to meeting that soulmate? And you may say, oh, Deanna, you're a crazy lady. I am open. I am so open. Yeah, that's what you say. But your heart sends a frequency out to attract people. And your heart may be sending this frequency out to draw to you broken people, emotionally unavailable people, because you want to fix. You want to nurture and pour all your energy into them. No. That's not what 2021 is about. And I'm telling you now, ladies, if you keep getting with a guy who needs fixing, who needs a, somebody to be his mommy and can't stand on his own two feet, you're going to be miserable, period. You want to find your soulmate? Then you look for people that have like interest to you something you have in common that's always a good basis of a relationship and you look for someone who is going to respond to how you treat them and when you treat them well and if they're like oh yeah but oh yeah but this oh but yeah but that oh I can't do this I can't do that my past my horrors you know I like maybe not that dramatic that's what you find it's time to move on move on down the road because the person that's right for you and men, same way, the person that's right for you is going to be someone that's like, you know, a friend, you know, can you imagine meeting a girlfriend for the first time, you know, to go to coffee or maybe you're going shopping or, I mean, right now there's a place in my community where, you know, um, uh, women, uh, moms and stuff just want to go have coffee with other moms and it's hard to meet people during COVID. So they have a little coffee group and, you know, they sign up and, you know, 10 of them go to coffee. Well, can you imagine if one of the ladies who went to coffee showed up and threw all her drama on the table, everybody else would be like, ooh, right? So think about that. You know, you to find your soulmate, you become the person that you would like to attract. Very plain and simple. So if you're looking for your soulmate and you're not finding them, and you're like, oh, when will I ever find them? When will you find yourself? Because if you're not finding your soulmate and you're actively looking, actively looking, which can be challenging during COVID, I get it. And you're just sitting at home, oh, when will they come? Never. You've got to be active. And I know that's challenging in COVID, but no excuses. You know what? Most people have FaceTime. If they don't have FaceTime, they have an app called Zoom. And people can download it on their phones. You can chat to somebody on Zoom. There's all kinds of platforms you can chat on and see somebody face-to-face. And talk to them, go, oh, you know, I, I, I like their body language. I don't like their body language, you know. And you can do that. You can line up a whole bunch of them that way. And if you like them, go meet them for coffee. Coffee is not a real big commitment. If you don't like them, get up and leave. It's not like dinner where you got to stay there and finish. Okay? But don't waste any time. So another way that some single ladies I know have been connecting is they call up friends and they say, hey, you know what? Do you know of any single guys, you know, that are, that are your friends or your husband's friends? Can you get us together? Can you set up a chat? There's all kinds of ways to meet. You might come up with a few creative ways to meet. But don't be sitting back and waiting because it's not going to happen like that okay uh ricky hi uh mary hi mary any guidance 
on when my soul might, might be coming into the picture. Same thing for you, Mary. 2021 is about bioelectromagnetic attraction. You're going to attract in your life what it is you're putting out. Period. If I had to sum up 2021, that would be it. Magnetics. So, Mary, you look very lovely. I see your picture there. Um, I would recommend that you start asking friends, you know, especially if you have married friends. Do you know anybody who's single who might want to go to dinner on a Friday night? Something. But get moving. Because hiding, you know, hiding behind a wall, a picture, an app, not going to cut it. Okay, let's see here. Um, Anita, hello. Um, let's see here. Thank you. Do you see me getting married again? April. Four years. Okay. Hi, Suzanne. Oh, hi, Susie. <laughs> hi, Susie. Hope you're doing well out there in Texas. It's a little cold and snowy here. Uh, let's see here. Robin says, if you are open, can you be deceived? Robin, I'm assuming you're saying, um, if you're open, can you be deceived about who your soulmate is? Absolutely. So I told you all I was going to start a book club. I went and bought a, a, a website, you know, to host the web, to host the book club and stuff. And the guy that was designing my website, who I paid, skipped town and took my money and left me with nothing but don't worry the juju will be on him uh you know you create your own juju so uh anyway <laughs> so i'm diligently working on that but in the meantime i'll let you know i'll I'll put up posts and stuff for that but we're going to be talking about uh, one of the books we're going to cover is called safe people and if you'd like to get a jump start on that uh kelly uh sorry uh robin uh, I would suggest that you get a book called uh, Safe People. Uh, I'll look it up for you here real quick. And uh, I'll tell you, I think it's available on audiobooks. I'll look it up real quick here. And, I ha and I'm taking the time to do this because I recommend it um, to quite a few of my clients. And it is a big subject right now in, in uh, 20, 2021. It's called Safe People. Looks like you can get it. Uh, the book cover is white uh, with a red circle on it. It says safe people on the red circle. It looks like you can get it on audiobooks and uh, Google Play. Uh, Kindle store looks like you can get it that way too, as well as a hard copy. Why safe people? Because uh, what I found when I engaged with that book, Robin, is that it told me about what safe people look like, people that were safe to have a relationship with, like, you know, whether it's a significant other, you know, whether it's uh, just a friend, you know, that you want to have, uh, people that won't abuse you, use you, toss you away, all that. And that, my dear, has been a terrific filter for me going forward in my interpersonal relationships. So I, rec I suggest you do it. Oh, Nicole. Oh, Nicole, I'm so glad to see you. It's been a while. I hope you're doing well. Um, she says, I know I have blocks and want to heal to stop attracting people that hurt. Nicole, again, let's get together. Let's look at what you've got going on. Clear the energy so it's not pol you know, polarizing those people to you. And then let's find out what the best course of action is for you going forward so you can stop the hurting. Um, so big hugs and kisses to you. Can't wait till you call. Uh, let's see here. Um, let's see. I met my soulmate. Oh, this is Carrie. I met my soulmate at work days after my divorce. Unfortunately, he passed six and a half years ago. Uh, Carrie, I am so sorry for your loss. I, I know that really it really stings. You know, you finally find that person that, you know, is your match and to have them pass. I'm so sorry. Um, so I'm going to just send out a lot of love to you, Carrie. And um, I know there's, there's more people out there in your soul family. So keep going. 
Uh, let's see here. Um, thank you. I want to be, uh, Mary says more specific. Do you see certain steps of life? that I've completed before someone who's spiritually aligned. Let's see here. Uh, okay. So uh, Mary's asking a lot of questions about certain steps um, to complete before someone spiritually aligns with her. And um, where does she need to grow in order to attract that partner and align to them? So Mary, I, I'm going to ask you the same thing. So everybody out there, um, when, when you come to work with me, we're going to do kind of like these little mini sessions, Akashic readings and energy clearings. We're going to look and see what's going on for you mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, and energetically. And the idea is if, you know, if energetically you're connected to draw all the people to you that you desire, but something's blocked, maybe mentally or in your heart. That's why it's key to work with me because it's not, it's like going to um, a doctor and getting a blood test. They're looking for specific things, right? And that's why they do the blood test so they can find out what's going on. So when you work with me, we're going to do what I call a P test. And it's really kind of funny and I know that. But energetically, we're going to take a sample of your soul, of your divine self. And we're going to look and see what's in there, you know, and then we're going to put it back clean. Okay, I'm not going to take it from you. But that's what we do in these sessions. We, we look at what's missing. What you're not aligned with? How can you align it better? So I would say that my sessions are crossed between like talk therapy, energy clearing, uh, spiritual guidance, uh, talking to your ancestors and guides, and getting you headed in that trajectory where you can truly align with what you desire. So I can't really, you know, do that in, you know, less than an hour here on the Tuesday Night Lives. So if you're interested at all in going forward, I think Mary's question is beautiful. You know, what does she need to do in order to align with her future? Be it a relationship, be it money, be it a career. Uh, that's, um, that's what I'm going to, you know, tell you. Come on, let's work together. Take a chance and see what happens when you open up and people report feeling lighter with me. When I do energy clearings, they're like, oh, I feel so much lighter, you know, and like a weight of the world is lifted off my shoulders. And, you know, if you're, you know, if you're like, well, I don't know, you know, that's why I come on to these Tuesday Night Lives. If you just love, love, love me, she says in her, uh, she says here when she wrote to me, I love you. I love you too, Mary. <laughs> but this is what I do in order to keep these lights running and this camera running. Okay, this is what I do for a living. So, you know, I'm gonna ask and invite each and every one of you to come. And if you're like, I just wanna do 30 minutes and see what it's like, okay? Toolsofenergyprotection.com, there's an angel reading, sign up for that. Okay, and if you can't find the time that you wanna get together, let me know. I will rearrange some of my schedule to get to you, okay? I've got all kinds of things to help you, but you can't get help unless you take a risk. Safe person, okay? I work for the boss. I will show up for you, and I will do the best I can to get you the help that you need. And if I can't help you, I will find a resource for you, okay? I don't mean to be such a big infomercial, but that's the truth. Anyway, so uh, let's see. I got one more comment. It says, thank you. Love you. Got to save up money and hopefully catch reading on sales. Ha! Huh, I love it. I love it. Okay. Um, so, uh, Nicole, uh, one of the things about saving up uh, money, I will tell everybody, if you will go to forheavensakes.com, that's for the word heaven. The word sakes.com in Denver, Colorado. Go on their Google Calendar and look for the fair. Usually it's the Google Calendar, you know, it's going to be all the different weeks of the month. And on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, it's usually highlighted in green. There's a fair. And what that means 
is that myself and several other the people that work through the store will discount our rates a bunch so that we can give discounts to people that have to save up to come and work with us, okay? And then also to that same end, Nicole, um, I am going to be putting on more little tiny events like that cost 19, 20 bucks um, because I'm understanding that there's a lot of folks out there that would like to come to an event, but they just want a, you know, a lower rate. So I'm gonna invite lots of people and that way, you know, we can all get together and heal collectively. It's so amazing when you get people in a little vortex, uh, you know, and he, yep, see it even rolled and, and heal, heal that way as well. So uh, that's it for now. And I appreciate you all joining on to talk about soulmates. Uh, there's going to be some other subjects coming up um, for people since we're coming up on Valentine's Day and talk about love and self-love and all that. And I appreciate you hanging in there with me as I go through my own challenges in life. If you noticed, I got a little bit, you know, bigger chin because I've been going through some stuff. And, you know, when you go through stuff, you eat uh -huh, and you don't exercise as much as you should have, could have, would have. <laughs> so, you know, I have my own challenges too. But, or and, people tell me to say and, I love each and every one of you. And I'm sending you big hugs and kisses because we are living through the most dynamic changes ever. We all signed up to be here. If you've got that high pitch whine going on inside of your ears, I want you to stick close, click like or follow on whatever channel you're watching because I'm going to be talking more and more about that and how that actually is a healing energy. And if you're hearing it, I'm going to teach you how to tune into it and teach you how to heal using that high pitch wine. I just found that out. My guides have been sharing that with me. So um, I don't see any uh, uh, questions. It's, uh, oh, here's one. Okay. Uh, Nicole is asking if she books with For Heaven's Sakes. Is it in the store or online? She's in the Springs. Um, it is in the store. So I have had some people that come up and see me on the fairs, fair days that have come up from Colorado Springs. Just make sure the weather's good. All right. Mwah. Big hugs and kisses, everybody. I hate to get off right at this moment. Ooh, there's the word hate. I don't like to get off at this moment because I love getting on with each and every one of you. And I can feel your beautiful energy every time we get on. But I got to rock and roll. So I'll see you later.